these are impact reamers these were sent to me earlier in the year by HMT or Hallmaker Technologies to test out I have actually taken these into work and tried them out and I do have to say that they are absolutely superb these are a real game changer if you've ever tried enlarging a hole in steel especially thick steel you will know that it is incredibly difficult you can do it quite easily on a pillar drill but when you're out in the field and you need to do it in situ it can be incredibly difficult and also dangerous these reamers actually make that possible and they also make it very easy to do because you can actually use an impact wrench to do all the work so there is no kickback at all unlike when you use a drill etc in order to use these with a impact wrench you will need the VertiDrive adapter which is about £36 plus VAT you can also get an adapter for an impact driver you can use these in a traditional drill because they have a hex shank you can also get an adapter to use these in a machine that takes a Morse taper and you can also get a weldon attachment so that you can use these in a mag base drill so these are very versatile and can be used in a lot of different machines if you take a look at that you can see that it is actually tapered at the end there and then when we get to that end it is actually parallel when you're using these you don't want to try to enlarge a hole too quickly so it is important that you step up in size this is the VersaDrive adapter which you will need if you're going to use these using an impact wrench so that is half inch drive and on the other side it is hexagonal and of course you can push the reamer straight in there to remove it you simply pull back of that collar and it'll pop straight out it's well worth buying that because you can then use these with the impact wrench and that means that you use very little effort indeed to enlarge the holes there is no kickback there's no wrestling with the drill etc the reamers themselves the 14 millimeter reamer is about 36 pounds plus VAT the 18 mil reamer is about 43 pound 20 and the larger 22 millimeter reamer is about 56 pound 20 all those prices are plus VAT that may seem expensive but these are of course aimed at professional metal workers and professional construction people if you've ever bought anything such as a moist taper drill etc they're always very expensive but I do have to say that these are a massive time saver and not only that they do make the job much safer in this first example I need to enlarge this hole which is in steel box section that is about six millimeters thick normally a bolt goes straight through the box section but in order to reinforce it and prevent the box section from being crushed I need to insert this piece of steel pipe you can see that the first hole is not large enough so I have fitted the 18 millimeter impact reamer into the impact range I've now sprayed it with some cutting fluid to protect the reamer you must ensure that you use these in a forward or a clockwise direction the steel that I'm working on has a chemical coating on it which makes the steel very tough even then the first reamer goes through the hole very quickly and more importantly effortlessly there is no kickback at all and I do not have to wrestle with it I've now swapped over to the 22mm reamer this time the chemical coating has been removed by the first reamer so this one should go through a bit quicker even though it is a larger diameter reamer now the pipe will fit through the hole and that will reinforce the fixing I'll just give that a clean off and now you will see there is no damage at all to the reamer as it has a very tough coating this second hole is elongated so it is no longer round if you have ever tried enlarging a hole like this you will know how much fun it is again I'm starting off with the 18mm diameter reamer and using plenty of cutting fluid as you 
you can see, that went through there in a matter of seconds with no effort. I've now swapped to the 22mm Rima and again you can see that the hole has been enlarged in a matter of seconds with no effort. This is a spring for a bumper which is made from half inch thick spring steel. As you can see the M12 bolt will not go through the top hole. This time I've got the M14 reamer and I'm going to use this to open up the hole. As you can see in a matter of seconds the hole has been enlarged so that the M12 bolt will pass through the hole. Again I'll give that a clean off so that you can see there is no damage. Remember that this steel has a chemical coating on it which normally blunts tools immediately. This time we have a hole that goes through an half inch thick spring steel bumper but one of the holes for the spring is quarter of a hole out. Although I marked this out for drilling I did not drill the hole so I'm blaming the guy that did the drilling. This is difficult to see but you can clearly see that the bolt will not go through both holes. Again I'm using the 14mm reamer and I have applied cutting fluid. This was difficult to clamp and as you can see the bumper is moving but it was the only place I could clamp it to do the filming. These are a game changer as they make what was a difficult job into a much easier job but more importantly much safer. I'll come to that later on in the video. As you can see that in a matter of seconds we have fixed the out of alignment hole. This is a piece of 3 quarter inch thick steel that we use on other bumpers. This needs welding into position. It comes with a pre-drilled 17 mm hole which means we can only use an M16 bolt or set screw to hold it in position. Obviously a 3 quarter inch UNC bolt is much stronger but that won't fit through the hole. Not only is the hull too small but the material is bent to a radius. After clamping this in the vise I'm going through with the M18 reamer. This steel is just mild steel and does not have the chemical coating on it yet. I've now swapped to the 22mm reamer and will ream the hull until it is large enough for the 3 quarter inch bolt to pass through the hull. As you can see it takes seconds and is effortless. I'll wipe the reamer again and you can see that it is not damaged at all. So how would we normally enlarge holes like this on site when you can't get the workpiece onto the drill press? We would normally use this hand drill 
As you can see it accepts most taper drill bits. This drill is okay for drilling holes from scratch but when you just need to enlarge a hole by a millimetre or two it is a complete nightmare. Firstly you can see that it has two large handles. These are needed because there is no safety clutch on this drill. When the drill bit snags you either keep hold of it, break the drill bit or let go of it. You might be thinking that you can just let go of the trigger when the drill bit snags but unfortunately that is not possible. Just look at how long the drill takes to stop once the trigger is released. I've had a few fights with this drill over the last 10 years. Thankfully I no longer need to fight with it as I can use the impact reamers instead. So to summarise, not only are these much faster and easier to use, they are also much safer. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel.